So good morning, good morning guys. So welcome again to another episode on Don Voyage. So today, okay, para ako nag advertise dito, no? Here on my hand, I have our EPIRB, no? So if you guys are interested in knowing what this is, its operation, and how to test it, and so this video is for you. So continue watching on. But uh, alam nyo na, no? Kakakat uh, ko lang din sa bridge. It's my night watch. I can't start my watch without, you know what, coffee. So let's go. What I have. Nothing better than a good cup of coffee. Okay, so I'm ready to start my discussion. Okay, so before anything, it would be bad not to tackle the principle behind it. Okay, so kung bakit yun nandyan at para saan yun and what makes it work. Okay, so I have here, of course, our references. Nang di pwede tayo mo sabi sabi ng kung ano ano lang. So with me here, I have the GMDSS manual okay so it's the global maritime distress and safety system okay so the EPIRB is one of the equipments we have no? uh, which is part of our GMDSS okay so marami pang iba yan and yung mga iba na yun that's a different topic already so for now we will only be talking about the EPIRB okay so here in our GMDSS manual syempre hindi naman papatalo yung user manual no? so this is our Um, EPIRB, the Tron 60S GPS. The maker is Jotron. And let's proceed to page 25. No, we will be talking about the cost pasar set system. Okay, so since this one EPIRB, natin, this is using the satellites. No. In case of emergency, this is going to send signals to our satellites. Okay, ang satellite system na yon yun ang tinatawag natin na COSPASARSAT system. Okay, so this is one of the system of satellites that we have. Okay, um, ayan no introduction. So this system was developed under the MOU among the agencies of the former USSR. Okay, yung former USSR, United States, America. Um, Canada and France no, in 1979. No? So, but nowadays, uh, dumadami na sila. Actually, ito na nakalagay. No? 40 states and organization. Okay? Kasi marami yan. Um, they are contributing on the ground receiving stations. Yung mga LUTs and mission control centers. Okay? So, yan ang COSPAS SARSAT natin. Okay. So, If you're wondering what does COSPASARSAT stand for, actually kasi itong COSPASARSAT na yan, this is um, actually first developed by the USSR. No? That's why the COSPAS is a Russian acronym actually. So, you might want to take this down kasi medyo mahirap sabihin no? and I don't know if I can say it properly but I will try. Okay, so the acronym of COSPAS, ayan, no? Space System for Search of Vessels Distress is... Kosmicheskaya Sistema Poiska Avarinich Sudov Okay, medyo mahirap yun Okay, and Ang SARSAT naman, this is a search and rescue Satellite aided tracking Okay, so ayan So yung COSPAS It's very hard to say It's in Russian, okay And ang ating SARSAT, COSPAS SARSAT In, with uh, in relation to our uh, no um, EPIRB, this is actually running on the frequency of na uh, 406 megahertz. Okay, to be exact, nakalagay dito sa EPIRB natin is 406.037 megahertz EPIRB. Yan, sakto sakto yan. Okay. So what is the operation uh, behind the EPIRB? Yan, no. So the EPIRB is a 406 megahertz satellite. 
no? um, transmitting on a 5 watts radio frequency but approximately 0 0.5 second duration every 50 seconds Ayan. so mabilis na ano na buga ng signal sa ating satellite on the 406 MHz okay so included in the 406 MHz satellite EPIRB is a digitally encoded message so ito very important to okay kasi once na nagburst na ng signal yan ang pinaka importante na kailangan malaman ng ating rescue coordination centers is the information regarding the vessel okay una una sa lahat pangalan ng barko Okay, information and identification regarding the ship and the most important one is the ship's position. Siyempre, paano, na, paano nila tayo hanapin kung di naman nila alam kung saan sila magsisimula. So, ang pinaka-importante information na pinapadala nitong um, EPIRB na to, uh, other than the name of the ship, is the ship's position. Ayan. Okay, so dapat naka-register to. Uh, kung titignan natin yung nandito. Ayan, no? the owner of this EPIRB must register okay? Kasi pag register mo yan um, Information ng ship no? Which has this uh, EPIRB no? Napaka This is designed specifically for your ship okay? Kasi yung information na binubugan nito Is the information regarding your ship Yan ang marireceive ng ating mga rescue coordination centers Once na nag-activate ito okay? So, let's see Okay Kung ano yung diagram nito. So, we have here the diagram of the Cospasarsat and our EPIRB. Okay? So, ito yung EPIRB natin. Okay? Or the Emergency Position Indicating Radio Beacon. So, yan ang ibig sabihin ng EPIRB natin. Okay? So, it's going to send a signal to our satellites. Yan. Which is our um, Cospasarsat. Yan. On the 406 megahertz signal. Okay, yan. Alright. Then, it's going to transfer the signal to the local user terminal o yung LUT natin na sinasabi. Then, from this local user terminal, itong mga satellite dish na to, it's going to send the signal to the mission control center. Okay, so itong mission control center natin, almost all countries uh, meron ng MCCs. Okay, which is uh, operating on at least one LUT no itong mga MCCs na to. So for example, um nagkaroon ng distress no nag-activate yung EPIRB natin. Once na receive na MCC natin yan, it's they're going to find the nearest RCC or the rescue coordination center na pinakamalapit to the vessel in distress. Okay? So in that way, once they are notified, no they are the nearest uh, SAR response um units available and magpapadala sila ng rescue to the vessel in distress. So, basically, this is how it works. No? This simple diagram. Take a look at this. No? Nang kospasarsat natin. Alright? Okay. So, that concludes our video on the introduction to kospasarsat and our EPIRB. Okay? So, on the next video, we're going to talk about the procedures on how to activate our EPIRB and, of course, on how to test it. Hope you guys learned something today. If you guys are interested on my videos, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Fair winds and following seas to everyone. Don't voyage.